welcome to the Aloha home. Welcome back to Oin Brandy's channel. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, make sure to tell a friend to tell a friend, and I can't wait for you to join the Oin Brandy family. Today, we're going to be filming a very special video. Like, you guys would have already seen it from the title, but this video is so dear to me because I'm bringing you, my family, into my space, into the Olo home. It's going to be a house tour. So we're doing our house tour in two phases. So this is phase one for with the things that we currently have in our home. I'm just trying to tell you guys that honestly, furnishing and doing all this stuff is not cheap. Don't let social media fool you. Like you can't really do everything at once. So I'm going to bring you guys on to see phase one and what our house currently looks like. And then maybe later, like in April or end of March, we'll be able to do a phase two to show you the final furnished house tour. But for now, let's go to see what we have now. I know it's April and you're just getting the first video. Guys, don't kill me. So the first place in our home that you're going to be seeing is the kitchen. So let me show you around our kitchen. People on TikTok and on Instagram would have already started to see bits and pieces of our dear kitchen. So let's go. So this is our countertop space that we have. Right here you'll see our oven mitten on that side. We have some cooking utensils here. We have this beautiful kettle that I was gifted at my battle shower. I love it so much. It, ma it matches the aesthetic perfectly. And in here we have some more cooking utensils, our eating um, utensils as well. And then we have like bowls in here and extra pantry stuff down there. So in here we have like our pantry stuff. They, some of them definitely need refills, but we have like rice, pasta. We just wanted everything to be very organized, if you understand what I mean. So we transferred everything into these containers. If you want to see how I did that, totally leave a comment down below and I'll be able to show you. This is just our cooker. It's a standard cooker. We have an oven as well. Very simple, very standard. So I have this um, kitchen roll up here. I got this hanger. Let me get, let me show you guys the hanger. I got this hanger from Amazon actually. Everything in my home that I got from Amazon, I'll be sure to leave the links and descriptions like in the description box below this right back we have this kettle right here and then our ninja blender this blender is too good too too good honestly and up here we have our um, plate and our dinnerware stuff like that we have them here we have cups we have mugs and extra plates up there as well in here we just have additional pantry stuff nothing special closing that right back so our place um, didn't actually come with a microwave so we had to get a microwave this microwave is absolutely beautiful and it's down here it's an LG microwave but in this drawer spaces right here um, the first one we use for our spices this is just our spice area. We have lots of, well, not lots, but enough spices. And then this second one is probably our fave one because it's for all our snacks and all our munchies. Very, yeah, very necessary. On uh, <laughs> Definitely very necessary. We made sure that all our appliances are like black because black is sort of the theme of our home, but I'll show you as we keep going. So right here is our huge kitchen island. It's literally perfect for everything. I love my kitchen island so much. I put like this vase right here with some fake flowers and some dried real flowers. And then there is this bowl that we use for like oranges, lemons, just fruits that don't have to be in the fridge. And there's a candle right here as well. This, honestly, this kitchen island is my dream. I absolutely love it. So over here is our sink, just regular sink stuff. We have dish soap, hand soap. We also transferred all these into like a different container just for the, just for the aesthetic, okay? Just for the aesthetic. It makes it look clean and very neat. 
And yeah, this is our kitchen. Over here, we have my personal favorite area of the house, and it's our dining. This dining set is from Struck Team. Well, it's not really a set, we bought it individually. Right now, we just have one chair for now, but by phase two, we'll have two chairs because these chairs ain't cheap. So, we, I was really intentional about putting like a very small dining in this space because there was just all this extra space, and I knew I wanted like a, a cute little dining, and I wanted something like with curved edges, and I just wanted the flow of the curved edges to continue I didn't want like any shards so no squares or anything like that and I used the same idea for the chair as well this chair is so beautiful like I think it's the start of the show like look at this let me let me sit in my chair it's so pretty oh my god I love it it's perfect for the space it matches our aesthetic perfectly I'll be sure to link everything down below for you guys in case you wanted to shop. Everything is just perfect. And on the dining as well, I put this vase on here. You'll see a lot of these vases around our home. This vase is so pretty. I made sure to add like some dry baby breath flowers as well. So nice, like everything properly matches the theme. So now that we're done with the dining, we will head into the grand place of our, of our home, which is our living room. This is our living room space, so let's start with the couch. So this is our couch. This couch is also from Struck Tube. It's not a white couch, it's just a little bit off-white, but just as high maintenance as a white couch, so don't be deceived. But this couch is so beautiful, like I knew that I wanted a bright colored couch, so it's literally so perfect for the vibe I was going for. And it suits the space so well as well. It's so beautiful, nice and fluffy cushions. Like it's nice. It's a really nice, cute sectional. Our space is like not that big, so for us to fit like this cute sectional in here, chef's kiss, perfect. And then moving over to the inside, we have our coffee table. This coffee table is also a Struck Tube purchase, guys. Struck Tube needs to sponsor us at this point. So this coffee table is also from Struck Tube. I just decorated it with like these vases. These vases, I believe I got them from AliExpress. So on this side of the couch, we have this really cute blanket um, basket. It's like a throw basket. It's perfect for our space. And then right here, we have this beautiful lamp. Guys, I love this lamp so much. And my husband loves it too. He just loves how it curves over our living space. Like, vibe check past, period. Like, it's so nice. It's really so nice. It's big enough for the space. Anything bigger might have been too big, but this is just perfect. If I don't have this mirror in my house, am I really an influencer, guys? Am I? This mirror is so nice. Like, it actually gives a different vibe to the space. It just makes it so, it gives that minimalist vibe because it's, oh, oh my god, it's so nice. It's so nice. Let me not talk too much, but you can see for yourself. The mirror is so nice. And remember what I said about having my house, like, have all the, all the um, things in my house to have rounded edges this mirror follows as well even the lamp i showed you guys before it follows the rounded edges as well i don't know it just makes the house feel more soft in a way right next to the mirror i just put like pampas grass in a vase nothing too crazy just keep it simple keep it clean and now we'll move over to the tv and the tv stand this tv stand i absolutely love it it's an ikea purchase it's actually not meant to be a TV stand. I think it's built to be like a storage unit, but I saw it and I was like, um, I love it and I want it as my TV stand. Just look at like the details of this place. Like it's so nice. The door details are so nice. And then it has like smooth, 
very smooth top i absolutely love it and we really wanted to hang our tv stand so that played a role in us getting this one as well the only downside to it is that there is like wires running on top of it like on the tv we'll probably get that fixed but not right now it's not bothering us too much but i think eventually we'll try to figure it out and then i also put like vases and ornaments these vases i believe are also from aliexpress some of them from aliexpress some of them from h&m home i'll make sure to just leave all the um, links in the description box below and for our tv our tv is a samsung frame tv it doesn't actually come with the bezel you have to buy the bezel separately um we purchased the we actually got the bezel from a friend at because it was on our registry which is so lovely and the frame tv is 50 inches right now it's in art mode if you know about the samsung frame tv it's supposed to look like an artwork so it's really nice really cute fits our space so well hits the aesthetic perfectly and then we get to this beautiful artificial tree from ikea as well this plant is so nice like it doesn't look that fake like obviously it's fake but it doesn't look that fake and it suits the space so well like it's not too like extra it's just right nice um it, it, it fits right nicely right beside the tv works out well And then right here we have this accent chair that we also got from Structube. We wanted to make sure that it matched because we ordered everything online. So we were really scared that it wouldn't match the couch. It works so well, it fits our space so well. I got this really cute throw pillow from um, AliExpress as well. Got this throw blanket as a gift. We have some additional throw blankets around our house. Works out well and yeah. On this side, we have this um, little stool table. It, we wanted it to be black. If you guys have noticed, we have piece, bits and pieces of black all over our house. That was really important to me as well. I didn't just want it to be like white and beige, which are like my aesthetic colors on a normal day. I wanted to infuse a little bit of black because so that, you know, it can match with my husband's vibe as well. The entire living room and kitchen area. And on this side of the house, we have the guest washroom right here. I'm just going to turn on the light for you guys. So right here, we have like the toilet. There is a trash can right there. There's a basket here that holds extra toilet paper and like flushable wipes. There's a hand towel right here. And there is this plant that I put right here just to, you know, accessorize the place a bit. We're going to be putting like a picture frame up here, but that will be phase two. And we have hand wash. We have a really nice candle. This place smells so good, guys. And then a mirror. Look at me in the mirror looking cute. <laughs> and that's it for the guest washroom. There's not much to see. Like this is all there is to the space, like literally. So let's go downstairs. So in here we have the guest washroom. In the guest washroom there is like a mirror right there. There's like a sink right there. There's a toilet right there as well. And if we come in here, there's a bath. We also have the same basket situation for like extra toilet paper and like flushable wipes. We have that in all the washrooms. And then if they wanted to store extra stuff, they'll just be right here. So that's it for the guest washroom. Let's go. If we open up this door, you meet our laundry and it's our washer and dry unit. Nothing much to see. We also store our boxes in here as well. Really guys, you don't really need to be seeing these things. I know what you want to see, this is not it. <laughs> so this room right here is our visitor's room, or the guest room, but Olu currently uses it as his makeshift office, and I also store some stuff here. And his closet is also in here as well. So there's really not much to see in this room, it's just an empty space where like my some of my business stuff, Olu's office area, and his closet over there. And yeah, this room is just like this. It'll be fixed up in phase two, completely transformed. 
get ready to see it then so let's go and finally we're moving into our bedroom this is our the master bedroom of the home and this is what it looks like we're still working on it this is what it looks like currently but trust me next time you see it it will be a little bit more up top so this is our bed our bed is also a structure purchase we have like white sheets the theme is also like white beige with a touch of black I totally love this pillows that I got from HomeSense so beautiful this throw blanket also makes the bed look so nice it's from Amazon don't worry I got you with the links guys and we have like a window right here we're not going to open that right now this is basically what the room looks like from this angle on that side we have a fan because my husband loves sleeping with a fan and that's why we have one we have my drawer uh, dresser right here on the dresser I just have like some lip stuff I have like my perfumes I have this mirror right here the intention for this mirror is actually to hang it eventually but we'll do this um, for now this will do for now and from this side of um, the room, we have our TV literally opposite the bed, which works out perfectly for us. And then I have my closet right here. Nothing much to see there, just a lady's closet. And let's head into the washroom and I'll show you what our washroom looks like. Over here we have our washroom. This is what it looks like. We have a mirror right here this mirror is like pretty big i like it we have a mirror right here we just have like um hand towels we have face towels we have like um <laughs> lotion and hand soap and all that good stuff that you have in a regular washroom anyway and then our toilet is right here we have extra toilet roll over there as well our bathroom is there this glass bathroom can be a little bit hard to maintain but i think i really really prefer it to like a bath if that makes sense and then our towels are here and also we have our laundry basket right in this corner we plan on doing something with this space i'm thinking like a really cute like tallish plant will sit on here and maybe i don't know maybe like a tray i'm not really sure what i want to do with my bathroom yet all of that will be phase two of our home furnishing but this is what we have now and i think it works right now in here we keep like all our skincare body care products extra kit products are also under so i think well. we actually covered every part of our home so it's a two bedroom two bathroom and a powder room upstairs as well so it it works for us as a newly married couple like we absolutely love it we love our space and we hope you enjoyed watching this video make sure to like share and subscribe and we'll see you later bye